Local museum finding itself stuck in the middle of a mudslinging contest between two candidates running for a seat on San Antonio City Council. Yeah, the Witty Museum is at the center of allegations being made against District 3 incumbent Rebecca Villagran and one of her challengers, Roy Aguillon. His allegations, though, don't appear to stand up. The night team's Tim Gerber has reactions from both candidates and the Witty. According to this flyer being distributed by candidate for District 3 City Council Roy Aguillon, incumbent Rebecca Villagran blocked $9 million from the street maintenance fund for District 3 and reallocated those funds to the privately owned Witty Museum. Is this true? No. Absolutely not. Witty President and CEO Maurice McDermott telling KSAT's ECs Romero this afternoon, Aguillon's allegations are inaccurate and way off base. The Witty Museum is a city-owned facility. We're on city property right here in Brackenridge Park. The museum is undergoing a $100 million facelift with capital improvement funds from the city that were matched nearly five to one by funds from private donors. She says none of the money came from streets and drainage funds. The funds that were allocated by unanimously, by the way, the vote was unanimous from city council, was were for capital improvement on this almost 90-year-old building. Biagran responding to Aguillon's allegations by calling him unprepared to serve the district. First, unfortunately, um, that proves that the person doing it doesn't understand the way the city budget works, and two, how they are... Um, Purposely misleading uh, the residents of District 3 and the voters. Aguillon, who once served as an aide for Viagran, defended his position and his ability to hold office. But the one thing that I will not lay down to is to say that I am not qualified for this position. This is a place where I know I could thrive. My neighbors believe in me, my community members believe in me, uh, and so with them behind me, I feel really positive. And, and Aguillon telling us tonight that he stands behind all of the statements in his flyers. There's one thing that he and Viagran both agree on, and that is the fact that he worked for her as an aide. While she says she fired him, he recently told the Express News that he was going to quit before he got fired because the office was disorganized. He refused to answer the question for us tonight when it was asked. Expect these two to keep going after each other on the campaign trail until Election Day, which, by the way, is May 9th. Reporting live downtown tonight, Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News. All right. Thank you so much, Tim.